All right, this is Nature's Nectar Follow Along Friday, and this is number four, the fourth installment. Uh, we're gonna do another inspection. Jesse has all of her proper equipment on. We have our smoker, hive tool, pollen patties if we need them. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna find out if we need to add another box on or not, because we should be getting pretty close to that time. We've already wrote, wrote on the top cover in permanent marker. You can see we got our first package install. We got our first inspection and now today's date. So that's always a good idea to write that on there because um, you can keep track of everything you've done, especially when we have so many hives. It's very nice to have that. And in, after winter, it will all get erased with the snow and then you can start over again with a clean slate. All right, she's going to break it down. Again, flipping the telescoping cover up on its side and then she's going to put that box up there on top <clears throat> that way you got a nice little stand for your inner cover with your feeder pail again keeping the inner cover level so you don't have to refill that feeder pail and see she's loosening up all those corners so it's easy to open now she's going to turn it there we go and see when she sets it on there you're not squishing any bees because you've got a big gap underneath with the empty box i'm going to smoke it aren't you Get a nice, nice electric smoker. All right, just gonna get that pollen patty. You can see now they've been chewing away on that pollen patty. It's got in between the frames, it's gone. She's gonna lay that upside down so she doesn't squish all the bees. All right. Got her frame hanger. Those frame hangers are so nice. Loosen that up. We don't have our handy dandy trusty J hook hive tool, and you can see this is harder to use the regular one. Okay, really haven't done much with that frame, a little bit on the one side. All right, all right, so they've drawn that one out. Uh, doesn't look like there's any eggs in there. What's the other side look like? Ooh, the other side they're packing in nectar okay see there's eggs on that frame eggs over there so that frame's gonna stay so we'll put that back in and now what we're gonna do and she's gonna put that in so make sure because that queen might be on that frame we didn't look for that queen so she gave it plenty of space now we're gonna jump to the other side and see where we're at all right they're drawn on oh, can't see the sun there they're drawn on both sides. They've already started their pattern. So we're gonna hang that one in the in the stand. Grab the next one. All right, so now they're drawing that out. Double check for no eggs on that side. And as you can see, they've drawn it out and that one they're starting. Okay, so that means we're at seven, 70% because we have we know we have eggs and larvae on this frame. That one has cap brood. All these have cap brood because we inspected before. You can see down in there, there's some brood down in there. So that means only three frames they have left. So that's 70%. This is where we're gonna switch over to nine frames. And the reason we run nine frames is so you can space, um, give them plenty of bee space, less chance of uh, killing your queen. And it's just easier on the beekeeper. So we're gonna grab our uh, spacing tool and we are, well, first she's gonna, what we're gonna do first is she's gonna grab a frame. We're gonna grab that one that was just starting to draw out, that one right there. We're gonna set that aside, put that in our hanger and we're gonna replace those other frames. Place these back in. We're gonna do is she's gonna move that one over a little bit okay now Jesse's gonna grab her spacing tool and the spacing tool is pretty simple you just push it along and make sure it's evenly spaced all the way across you can see that that's exact bee space she needs and you won't squish your queen or anything so right, she's gonna go to the last one and line that last one up get out of there 
Actually, not supposed to be. There you go. Now your your hive uh, frames are evenly spaced, and that's the space tool. And this then it also dubs as a mouse guard in the winter. So in the winter, you could put it on front of the hive, and then you'll have your mouse guard. Kind of a slick little tool, and it's actually made here in Hugo, Minnesota. Okay, now that we've spaced, spaced our frames properly with our spacing tool, we're going to take that frame that we removed, and we're going to put it into our next box that we're going to be adding on. She's going to get her fr perch frame perch out of the way. All right, now we're going to add on our second box. Make sure cork out. Good there. All right, so now we added our second box. Frame. Now your frame that we, that's the frame with all the bees. So what you're doing is you're trying to encourage the bees to come up and start drawing on that second box. And that's why you're putting this one in the middle. <clears throat> and um, now the bees should come up. So now what we're gonna do is you're gonna put your pollen patty back on. Put everything back together. And one other thing we're gonna do after she does that is we're going to change our entrances around because now that we've added our second box, and also you're gonna to continue to feed. Anytime that you are drawing out comb, you need to continue to feed because it's way easier for a bee to go one inch than it is one mile for food. And any rainy days or crappy days, we can um, the, the bees can really draw out when they have food already on the hive. All right, so how you do that, you loosen up the box. And then just gonna stick, get that entrance reducer out of there. there go, slide it over, perfect. Now she's gonna change around because the bees were used to going in on this side over here. So now she's gonna add it to the larger setting. It doesn't have to be all the way in there, that's perfect. Now we're gonna pull that cork out. She can actually move it. Oh, that one's already got one in it. So there we go. So you have entrance at the largest setting, uncork the first box, cork the second box, and that's your feeder box. And you'll do the same thing when we add our third deep on. There we go. Okay. Oh, we got one more thing. We're gonna add the date that we did our added our second box. We got today's date, it's 525. And we're gonna say second box. There you go. Follow along Friday, Nature's Nectar with Jesse and Tom. Have a good day.